Hey guys, Sparky here. Today I'm going to show you how I terminate a commercial electrical panel, step by step. Hope you enjoy. First thing you want to do is make sure you have a nylon bushing on each of these pipes. If not, these rigid pipes, they'll cut your, cut your wires. No plano. Rigid pipes are a metal pipe that you run in the concrete. You can't run PVC because, you know, it's flexible, it'll break. So rigid is rated for concrete. You wrap it with corrosion tape so that it doesn't protrude and etch the outside of your pipe. Also, as you're putting nylon bushing, separate your grounds and go ahead and work on straightening them out a little bit makes it the process faster as you go okay now that I've got all my grounds separated I'm gonna start forming them and working them up one by one I'll take this half and work this way I'll take this half and work this way take the extra time to straighten your wires it's gonna make it look so much neater in the end and they're gonna work with you up so much better. Take pride in your work. It doesn't matter anything you do in life. If you touch it, put effort in it, make it look as best as you can. It shows, people appreciate it. Now I'm going to start transferring my numbers. You want to label both your neutrals and your circuits. You always pair your circuits, but you want to label both as well. That way if you have to come back in the future, you can identify without having to ohm out and trace. It makes future work a lot easier. It also helps to do a career that you are very passionate and that you love. I enjoy doing electrical work because you never learn at all. Code's constantly changing yearly. There's always something to be learned in a new and better way and more efficient way. That's what I enjoy. Now this is the end of my Thursday. I get called to another job and when I come back you'll see what I find. So before I go to demoing this bull crap back out, I just want to show y'all something. And a little backstory. I got called Thursday to go work Friday and Saturday on another job and bail it out and help do some underground work. Okay, so as y'all know, I bid my grounds and my neutrals Thursday before I left. I still had a couple neutrals to do. So somebody jumped on this Friday or Saturday and attempted to finish it and thought I was gonna let this shit fly. But my name stamped on it. Y'all know what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to spend my Monday morning tearing this bullshit out and reworking it. Because that ain't acceptable with me. And if you accept that, you need to reevaluate and take more pride in your work. If you start something, you should always double check and make sure it's done right and to your standard. Because if my boss walked by this and seen this quality of work and thought I'd done it, he would walk me out the gate for my team. That's bullshit. I'll update y'all when I get it pulled down and show y'all what I'm talking about. And just in the future, if you jump on something that someone else has started, take effort and still try. Even though you haven't started it, you may not be able to finish it 100%. Take pride and take effort. The next man will appreciate you for it. Don't do this.
here it is. I finally got everything straightened back out for the most part. A couple wires was a little shorter than I'd like them to be in. But I, I can deal with it. Just a little tip, but once I get my grounds in, I like to go ahead and put my zip ties behind. You'll find that the grounds will hold the zip ties in place and you don't have to mess up your final form putting them in after you've got everything ran. Just something that makes life a little easier. Well, we're getting close to the end, y'all. I hope everybody's enjoyed thus far. If you will, leave me a little feedback. Let me know how I can improve my editing or my arrangement or my delivery. I appreciate any and all criticism, good or bad. And I appreciate anybody that took the time to watch this video. I hope everybody has a great day. Check out some of my other content. Thank you.